What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Happy Easter to everyone. Hope everyone's having an awesome holiday with their families. Uh, today I just want to do a short video real quick on a, a old cold steel buoy I picked up. I didn't even know this one existed. You know, I saw it on eBay and uh, got into a, <laughs> got the little bit of the uh, the bidding fever, right? So I start bidding on something and I, I don't know if I paid more than I should have or not, but uh, regardless, I got it. <laughs> So uh, it's pretty pretty cool though, and it's pretty original. I never seen one like this for cold steel, and it's one of the early ones, man. I think this is like probably early '90s to, to mid '90s. Um, and uh, so I want to show it to you guys and get your guys' opinion. Let me know because I've had a few when I did shorts on this. I had a few people tell me that different names for it, you know. And and when I looked them up on on Google search, it, it comes with a different even though the names are given, it gives a different style buoy. Uh, I believe uh, Tom Tom Ritter, which is a cool dude, is another. A brother of the blade for sure man uh me and him talk a lot and i was uh he was telling me that he thinks this is called the riflesman's buoy unless there's two different type of rifleman's buoy when i look up rifleman's buoy it's a big satin finish like uh looks like an old school style buoy similar to like uh doesn't look the same but similar style to the wild west buoy by cold still so like a bigger buoy it's not like this so i don't know if it's the rifleman's buoy or not and then someone else told me it was another name and it, i looked it up and it wasn't so I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, I'm going to see if you uh, look this up on the, the Google search and keep searching for it, or maybe just a one-off type thing. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Let's start with it. So it does have this uh, awesome, awesome sheath. Old school. You could tell it's early 90s. It's just like that, that camo style sheath that you uh, uh, that the, you would see back in like uh, army surplus stores and all that type of stuff. And the kicker of this, most nowadays, I would say probably 99% of the sheaths are made in China or India or somewhere like that. Look what this one sheath's made. Made right here in the good old US of A, man. So this is, that's all this is. They used to make the sheath still here. <laughs> so the sheath is made here. Um, and then the knife is a carbon V. And check this blade out. Freaking awesome. So you got that craton style handle, like rubber. Awesome texturing. Look at the texturing on this handle. Just amazing. Even the backside has texturing. The contouring of this is awesome. You know, see how it goes like this. So in the hand, it feels great. It still has this little hump right here so it's not too aggressive so you won't tear your pinky up while chopping or anything and also hold your hand there but to me this looks like more of a combat knife tell me what you think look at this let me back up now I'll show you the blade it looks like a combat knife in my opinion so it does have this upper swedge here it's 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 about probably like about an 80 percent sharp but i guarantee you could put an edge on that all the way to here just sharpen here and here and make this a total sharp swedge for doing back back slashes back cuts and then also for snap cuts man this thing would be an awesome for snap cuts it's just so light and see it's it's pretty thin stock too it's only like maybe pff, 5 16 i mean it's it's pretty thin i mean it's thinner than 3 16 but um it's it's freaking it's bitching it's freaking it's a bitching ass but let's see how to pick it up i'm trying to get that focus here um my camera's not getting it but right there i should say there we go carbon v so this is a high carbon steel buoy made in usa so this was made in usa and then here just has the old school branding cold steel let's see if i can pick it up here cold steel stamping i don't know if it's getting it but yeah th this thing came freaking <laughs> razor razor sharp man razor sharp brand new out of the box never been used you could tell brand spanking new early 90s blade um i love it i love it it says really night uh, light and nimble uh really um just like one of a kind that i haven't seen let me know if you guys seen a cold steel like this um i would compare this to the size of a bk7 so I should have brought that out, damn it. I already started the video, so I'm not gonna bring it out, but maybe I'll do another video in the future. Knife similar, the seven inch blade. Um, but BK7, this is pretty similar in size, but definitely not weight. This is a lot lighter and like more nimble. I mean, this thing wouldn't even fill on the side of your hip. It's so light. Um, I mean, awesome little fighter knife. Awesome, like, I mean, I guess for special ops type stuff. Got a nice little ramp here for your thumb. I mean, it's freaking bitching. Bitching ass buoy. Um, I'm thankful to get it. You know, like I said, I don't know if I probably paid a little more than I should have, but uh, just another one to add to the collection, though. I do I do like it. When I came in, I saw that the, the quality of this for the price, man, you can't freaking beat it. And, of course, it has that rubber hand. These are rubber. All the guard is rubber. Um, just bitching, guys. All right, so I just wanted to show you this one real quick and get your guys' opinion. A little lanyard hole there. Um, here, the backside is kind of weird. A little, like, uh, S stamped in looks like or number two i don't know yeah number, number two <laughs> so i don't know let me know if you guys know the name of this if you guys uh you know have a website or something you could put in the link so i could see what this is called or if this what kind of buoy this was 
I have never seen a cold steel buoy like this. It's pretty cool. Pretty, that's why I, I, I was interested in it too, because it's just a unique, unique little blade. A unique little blade. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. I just want to show you this one real quick. Give you a quick rundown of this old school cold steel buoy, which is pretty cool. Made in America. <laughs> Sheath, camo. Pretty bitchin'. Pretty bitchin'. Pretty, uh, nice little piece of history to own here. And uh, glad I got it. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next knife, gun, or whatever.